In the late 1950s, more babies were born across Canada than ever before. That means there's going to be a lot more people becoming senior citizens. And I'm one of them. My name is Alistair Smith. I live here in Vancouver. I'm a facilitator and coach. I'm an Anglican minister and a public speaker. My peers, we're a mixed bag when it comes to thinking about aging. There's denial, questions about identity, some focus on health and well-being, and for most, there's a little bit of anxiety. Okay, there's a lot of anxiety. The COVID-19 pandemic revealed major challenges in long-term and primary care. It's got me thinking, in a time where there's so much pressure on the public systems, is change even possible? Turns out, the answer is yes. The Conconi Family Foundation, along with partners, is tackling systems change for older adults, people like me. More importantly, they believe it's possible and invited me to document how they're approaching this audacious goal. But first, a quick origin story. The Conconi Family Foundation was founded in 2003 by Bob and Diane Conconi. And if you ask them why they do it, they'd say... Well, we started the foundation because we've always received so much back from our country and our community. Diane and I counted our blessings and how good Canada and the business community that we've been worked in and the people that we worked with were to us and how they all contributed to our success. And we tried to find a way that we could carry that on and actually contribute to the life of other people. I'm going to go talk to the team at the Conconi Family Foundation to learn more about them and why they think systems change is possible. Tell me about the Kukoni Family Foundation. Kukoni Family Foundation invests in projects that have the potential to shift the systems of care to improve quality of life, hopefully, for people in our home province of British Columbia. We focus on three sectors, healthcare, education, and social services. To us, these are fundamental building blocks of our society. We have our sights set on shifting systems to better support our aging population. Why aging populations? My dream for aging adults in British Columbia is for them to have a choice to live the life that they want to live and have the supports in place to live that way. We know it's possible. We can see those models in other places around the world and it's just a matter of figuring out how can we do that here so that people can live the rest of their lives how they want to. Given all of the possible challenges, how do you know which is the right one to tackle? That's a very good question. We listen. So we rely on lived experience and subject matter experts. And one expert that we've relied on over the years has been Dr. Amy Salmon. We have a crisis in seniors care. We see gaps in systems in many different ways, right? We see gaps in the availability of health promotion for seniors in communities. We see gaps in the resources and the supports that people have to be able to stay in their homes for as long as they can and as long as they wish. And then quite importantly, we see that when people reach that point in their lives where they may need to be coming to live in assisted living or long-term care, that that crisis heats up. So the work that we do in our research is really about trying to not just shine a light on the deficiencies that we know exist in the system, but that point us in the direction of more hopeful practice. What makes the Kukoni Family Foundation unique? This process of wanting to transform systems is huge and it's overwhelming. Just like everything else, right? it takes a community, right? right. And that's where the Conconi Family Foundation is an excellent partner because they help us to build that community. They're informed and engaged donors who don't just receive reports from us twice a year and say, thank you very much, that's very interesting. <laughs> you know, instead they sit at the table with us and they are interested in grappling with the implications of the work and asking the tough questions that helps push all of our thinking in the direction it needs to go. We've been exploring how the Conconi Family Foundation has begun the journey of transforming systems for aging adults in British Columbia. And if I can be a vlogger, anything's possible.